friends, welcome back. I hope you've been telling all of your friends and family about the life of Jesus using your object eggs that we um, used over the last few weeks. Um, if not, that's okay too. Um, you can use them just to help you remember all the stories of Jesus' life. Today, we're going to go ahead and talk about another story about Jesus. This time, it's um, a story about what happened after Jesus was alive again on Easter, after Jesus came back to life, but before he ascended into heaven. So we're going to get right into that. And we're going to go right to our Bibles after we have our opening prayer. Please pray with me. Dear God, help me use my ears to listen and my heart to learn the words you have for me today. Amen. Okay, just like I mentioned before our prayer, we are going to go to our Spark Story Bible now, and we're going to read a story about the first time the disciples saw Jesus after he was alive again on Easter. So go ahead and turn to your Spark Story Bible if you have it. If not, that's okay. You can follow along on the screen. We'll be on page 492. Doubting Thomas. The disciples were hiding in a house the night Jesus rose from the dead. They were afraid. Bam! They locked all the doors. But Jesus came and stood by them. Peace be with you, he said. The disciples looked up in surprise. Jesus showed them his hands and his side so that they would know it was him. The disciples were very happy. Again, Jesus said to them, Peace be with you. God has sent me to you. Now it's your turn to go tell the rest of the world about me. Jesus breathed on them in a very special way. He said, With this breath, I will always be in your hearts, even when I am in heaven. You know, you now have the power to do the things I've asked you to do. Thomas was the only disciple not there that night. When he got back, the others excitedly told him about Jesus' visit. But, gee, Thomas says, I don't believe you. I'll believe when I can touch Jesus' wounds. A week later, Thomas and the other disciples were in the same house. Jesus came again and stood with them. Peace be with you, he said to them. Thomas, Jesus commanded, come here. Give me your hands. Put your finger on the wounds in my hand. Put your hand by the wound in my side. Do not doubt any more. It's time for you to believe. Thomas's eyes popped. My Lord and my God, he exclaimed. Jesus answered him, You believe because I'm here with you and you've seen me. Think of those who have not seen me but believe in me anyway. You should believe, even when you cannot see it for yourself. Now that we've read our Bible story about Thomas and Thomas having doubts that Jesus really came, let's watch the a video that tells the story again stories of the bible jesus appears to thomas this is jesus hey who is the son of god and the savior of the world while jesus was on earth he taught everyone about god's love and healed people from their sickness he did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. But some people did not like what Jesus was doing. And they put him to death. He died on a cross and was buried in a tomb. For three days, Jesus' body laid in that tomb and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body, found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. Ah! For he was risen. He was alive. 
What? Hey, oh! Jesus appeared to his disciples to show them that he was alive. One of the twelve disciples, Thomas, was not with the others when Jesus came. Hey! Hey, Thomas! Later, the disciples told Thomas, We have seen the Lord. But Thomas said, I won't believe it unless I see the nail wounds in his hands, put my fingers into them, and place my hand into the wound in his side. Eight days later, the disciples were together again, and this time Thomas was with them. The doors were locked, but suddenly, as before, Jesus was standing among them. Oh, hey guys. Peace be with you, he said. Then Jesus said to Thomas, Put your finger here, and look at my hands. Put your hand into the wound in my side. Don't be faithless any longer. Believe. Thomas said, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, You believe because you have seen me. Blessed are those who believe without seeing me. Okay, we are going to get out our learner leaflets and talk about our story a little bit more. The first thing I need you to do is cut out the strip at the bottom of your learner leaflet. So just go ahead and cut along the black line at the top of that strip. You'll have a strip like this and you'll have your paper. Okay, then go ahead and cut. It says to fold, but go ahead and cut a pump on each of those spots and we'll have three different pictures. First picture is Jesus. And the second picture is Thomas. And the third Peter or picture is Thomas and Jesus. Okay, so now let's go ahead and talk. A, sorry about that. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about our story. So what were the disciples doing in the story at the beginning? That's right. They were hiding in the house, weren't they? And who came and stood inside the house with them? Yes, Jesus did. So you can take your picture and put Jesus in with the disciples. Jesus came to the house. How did the disciples feel when they saw Jesus? How did they feel? They were surprised. And then they were happy, weren't they? Yes. And what did Jesus um, say to the disciples before he left? Be at peace. Go, tell the world about me. I'll always be in your hearts. That's right. Then... <clears throat> what happened who didn't get to see jesus the first time that's right thomas didn't get to see jesus the first time did he what did thomas say when the disciples told him about jesus's visit he said i don't believe you unless i can see or touch it my, for my touch jesus for myself right but what happened about a week later Jesus came and stood with the disciples in the house again. But who was there this time? That's right, Thomas was there. So Thomas was in the house and with Jesus together. And what did Jesus say to Thomas? That's right, he said, it's time for you to believe. And did Thomas believe Jesus was alive? Yes, he sure did. That's right. Thomas, Thomas believed, <clears throat> excuse me, that Jesus was alive because Je Thomas saw Jesus. Jesus said there will be people who have not seen him, but still believe. Guess what? I'm one of those people. Even though I haven't seen him, I believe in Jesus. Can you say that you believe in Jesus too? I believe in Jesus. We're going to do a fun little thing. If you look at the back of your learner leaflet now, 
there's a little way to say a sign language in I believe in Jesus. Okay, so you can look at your leaflet or you can just follow along with me. So we're going to say I and then believe is belief. Believe in Jesus. See how that is? Jesus makes sense, doesn't it? Because we know Jesus' hands had nails through them and it's kind of pointing at Jesus. So I believe in Jesus. That's fun, isn't it? So you can go out and you can tell people that you believe in Jesus. Um, and you can use your sign language to help you if you want. I believe in Jesus. I'm going to go ahead and end our time with a, a, um, in prayer. But before I go, I just want to say thank you for joining me. And please, if you ever have any questions, you can always reach out to me. You can talk to a grown-up in your life. You can talk to your pastor. And remember, you can always pray. Will you please bow your head with me in prayer? Dear God, thank you for giving us Jesus. Even though I don't see him, I believe in Jesus. Help me show Jesus' love to others.